Hi guys, welcome to the Chaco Life. My name is Famina and it's back to school time. So how many of you have kids that have started school or will be starting school soon? Guess what? We've been in school since July. Yes, you heard me right. So as you can tell by the title of this video, my kids go to year-round school. So I'm really interested to know if any of you are on a year-round schedule, if you've ever heard of a year-round schedule, and if you go to like a public school, private school, on sc online school, homeschooling, whatever type of school you go to, and have a year-round schedule. Now, when I talk to my friends, um, especially friends that don't live in this area, they always have questions about what a year-round school is, how does it work, what do you think about it, and today I'm here to answer all of those questions. Guess who decided to join me? As soon as I sat down, she came over and decided to take a nap. This is our puppy, Joanna. She, we call her Jojo, and she always seems to find me and wants to take a nap next to me. I wish I can take a nap too soon, um, but as you can see, that is her favorite pastime. Anyways, back to year-round schools. Okay, so what is a year-round school? Basically, it is a schedule where you go to school the whole year. Now, of course, we do have breaks, and that is one of the major questions that I get asked all the time. Well, if you go to school year-round, do you go all the time? Well, the answer is no. We are on a schedule where we go to school for nine weeks, and then we have a three-week break. And I love this schedule. I've actually never heard of a year-round schedule before my oldest started school five years ago. So we've been on this schedule for about five years now. And this year I am so excited because all of my kids are going to the same school and are on the same schedule. And for those of, those of you who have more than one child and you know how hard it is to have all of them on the same schedule. So I have three kids and I am very excited and will be enjoying this whole year because everyone is on the same schedule. Okay. So our schedule is we start school in July, right after the 4th of July holiday. And the kids are in school for nine weeks and then they get a three week break. So we are getting ready to have our first break of this school year. And I love, love, love this schedule. And fortunately for me, it was such a blessing that this is a public school that my kids go to and it is our base school, so we are automatically assigned to this school. And if you live in other parts of the country, I live in North Carolina, let me know if this is an option for you because I am surprised this hasn't caught on so far. We have different tracks. So overall, there are four tracks in our school system. And with each track, they have a different start date and a different break date. So you can pick, you can choose which schedule works best for you and your family. They have one that aligns um, better with a traditional school year. So they have ones that start in August and then they still go to school for a certain number of weeks and then they get a break. And the amount of time you go to school and the amount of break that you get varies with each track. Now, the reason they started this year round schooling in our part of the county was because the schools were overcrowded and they needed to fit more kids into the school, the existing school. And so what they did is, for example, if our school had a capacity of only holding 600 students, but they had 800 kids who needed to go to school, well, when you're using the track system, the school is open the whole year, but one of the tracks is always tracked out. So I forgot which track it is, but we are on track one. So when we track out in September, another track goes back into school. One of the things I really like about this schedule is that by the time it's nine weeks, my kids are already tired of going to school. They are fatigued and they are ready for a break. And if you go to a traditional school, um, you don't really get a long break until um, possibly fall break, um, Thanksgiving break, Christmas break. But um, I feel like this is a better school 
um, schedule for my kids because they have already been going to school for nine weeks and they are ready for a break. And this break is really a break. They get no homework, um, it's downtime for them, and they get to really rest and relax, yet um, they don't lose the information that they have learned because a break is not long enough for them to forget what they have learned in say the first quarter of school. So I really like that. And the break is short enough that they are ready to go back to school. So all of you parents that have long summer breaks, I know I felt this way when I went to school and I had a summer break. It was really exciting in the beginning, but by the end of summer, it was like getting boring and um, you always had to find something to do and you are ready to see your friends. So in this case, the break is long enough for them to rest and relax and then they are ready to go back and see their friends and ready to learn again. So I really like that about this school and also the fact that they don't have to do any work during the break. So they can spend that time. Um, in our uh, situation, what happens is I can sign them up for track out camps. So they have track out camps here where I live and they can explore different interests that they have. So there's science camp, there's arts camp, there's sports camps, painting camps, um, all sorts of whatever camps that they can try out. And you don't have to sign, up, sign them up for like an extended period of time. So you can sign them up for a week, um, the whole three weeks. You can sign them up for a day, half a day, just the afternoon. So there's a lot of variety and flexibility in their schedule. And I really like the way this is laid out because it kind of um, lets them know that there are different ways to structure your time. So um, the way we do it is we either go on vacation or they get signed up for camp. And then um, that's only about a week. And then one week they might have um, get together with their friends. And then the other week they spend time learning about their interests. So for example, my oldest daughter is an artist. So she may spend time um, learning that, spending time on just doing art or just reading or just, um, you know, whatever their hobbies may be, that's what they will be spending time learning to do. And also it gives them time to just play, you know, just rest, relax, play. They get to um, have a little bit of freedom, which I really like about this schedule. And I love that the first break is in September, right when fall starts and the weather is starting to get cooler. It is a phenomenal time to take a vacation. So whether you go to the beach, the mountains or, um, you know, whatever, wherever you may go, it's typically the time when other people are going to school and prices for trips fall. So we can get the advantage of um, a lower vacation rate. That it really helps out a lot. And also um, me and my husband, we're not locked down to, we can only take vacations in the summertime because that's when the kids are out of school. So it gives us a lot of flexibility as well. Another thing I really like about this schedule is that there is not um, a big transition time between when they get out of school and go back to school. So we don't have to like adjust um, our bedtimes or morning times. Um, they do get to stay up later when they are out of school, but it's not um, such a big break that they have a hard time adjusting to get back onto a school schedule. So there's, you know, the, the transition time between um, being in school and out of school is not so big that it's a hard adjustment for them to get back onto school. And I, there's not really a struggle. So they know that like, you know, when they're out of school, they can sleep in a little bit, stay up a little bit later, but it's not such a big difference that they struggle to get back onto a schedule when they are back in school. So I hope um, this video is interesting for you and I answered some questions about a year on school schedule. I'm really interested to see if you like the schedule, if it sounds intriguing, if you are on a alternative school schedule, let me know in the comments down below. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, please subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.